What's going on? Chris here, Mercer County Boot Camp, Outbit the Scruffy version, coming to you with a video. And I'm going to tell you something that you need that uh, often a time when you're looking to have a healthier lifestyle, more abundance, it's very overlooked. It's not another fitness app, device, whatever. You actually need this haters. You've heard of the expression crabs in a bucket. You probably have, right? As when there's a bucket full of crabs, one is just about to get out. And then one of the crabs decides to pull it right back down because it can't stand to see it succeed. Now, that's something that's very possible that will happen in your life. And just know that if it does, it's actually a very good sign. It's okay to be polarizing. You're not going to make everyone happy. So for every person that loves chocolate, there's a lot of people that hate it and that prefer vanilla, right? So it's okay to be polarizing. For example... Are you more of a Mac person or a PC? Are you more Star Wars or Star Trek? Do you like cats or do you like dogs, right? When it comes to your lifestyle, to health and abundance, there's people who prefer to be health conscious, right? They want to always better themselves. Not uh, that they're necessarily a size 2 or they have a, a size 30 in waist, but maybe they're people who are in root of that. Perfect. But by contrast, there's another group of people who are perfectly happy with junk food, being sedentary, etc., and so on and so forth. Maybe you heard of the expression called fat shaming, where people put others down uh, due to their weight, due to their physique. It's not cool at all. Know this, that there's also something called fit shaming as well. People may put down others, like say, uh, if one guy sees a, another guy in good shape, oh, that guy must be on steroids. Or if they're seeing that you're making better uh, choices with your nutrition. They may wave some food. Oh, just one bite won't hurt. Come on. Oh, that's right. I forgot you're trying to diet. Or maybe they'll say that you're super superficial or very obsessive. All sorts of things that will try to put you down. But you know why? Probably they're trying to put their own failures. They're projecting their own realities of themselves and trying to force feed you that. I want you to do this. Handle them with care. Instead of arguing or enabling them, empowering them, do not do that whatsoever. Don't feed the trolls, as they say on the internet. But rather just say something like this. Hey, thanks for noticing my hard work. I could use all the help that I can get. And poof, you just did some mindset ninja tactic stuff right there. Okay? So just remember, those people that try to put you down, maybe it's a spouse that's not really uh, trying to eat healthier. Uh, maybe it's, you know... Uh, mom or dad, they don't want to really help with the kids, like babysit an extra half hour so that you can train. Try to reduce your time with certain people in your life. You only want to be with those people, that polarizing group, right, that's going to support you in the first place. Stay away from those crabs, stay away from those haters, and know that if you have some haters, chances are you're doing something right. So why don't you go find yourself some. This has been Chris, Mercer County Boot Camp.